So 10 News reporter Phil Buck is looking into pot's status in the U.S. and how it might be changing. Look, it's no secret, okay? Weed is officially big business here in the U.S. And despite the efforts of his attorney general, Jeff Sessions, who still wants to see federal crackdowns on marijuana, President Trump seems to be taking a decidedly pro-business stance on legal marijuana, which now has even conservative investors saying, look, I got five on it, all right? Let's take former Speaker of the House John Boehner, who was firmly anti-pot when he was in office. Well, he joined a cannabis industry investment company earlier this month. Apparently, Mr. Boehner realized that he could make more money by selling weed than he could by fighting. Now, let's take the states that are selling it legally. They have collected more than one and a half billion dollars in taxes since their legalization program started. And that's not even counting California, which just launched its legal sales earlier this year. Medical and recreational weed sales will hit more than $11 billion this year. And that's expected to go up to 25 billion in the next seven years, okay? How about jobs? Wanna talk jobs? More than 120,000 people are already employed in the industry, which is just expected to continue booming. And none of that includes some of those secondary pick and shovel businesses that are also getting in on the green rush.